I knew that I was going to be a craftsman when I tried to take a month off. And when my kids were really young, we bought a small cabin up in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I, uh, tried, I tried to take a whole month off just so I could be with my kids. Every day I'd go outside and uh, if they were taking a nap, then I was out there trying to build something. The way I was introduced to the belt buckle world was by a gift that was given to me, which was a trophy belt buckle. And trophy belt buckles that were given in the rodeo world were super prized possessions. It's always been very important for me to take the Western work ethic and the Western lifestyle into other feels like in other lifestyles than the Texas lifestyle. We've always made our buckles where they're made out of solid gold and solid silver and they were going to last for many, many generations. I'm really curious to know exactly how long are they going to last. You know, how many uh, generations will get to hold these buckles in their hands and, and the stories that they'll tell down the road. Making each piece by hand gives them a certain character that you just can't get by machine. You have to put certain angles on, on each piece and when you're cutting the overlays and working with the filigrees, you really need to be able to do it by hand. There's certain parts when you're making them, you're almost doing it upside down and sideways and you just doing it by hand is, is just the best way to get the best effects. We have an amazing group of craftsmen in our, in our company and I've taken every one of them outside and brought them through the front door and I told them that this is the closest we're going to ever get to playing the Super Bowl. One thing about us is we get to play the Super Bowl every day. We get to come in here and we get to play as hard as we can play, work as hard as we can work and we all have the best opportunity every day to make the best product that we can make.